Singapore's population is aging rapidly. By 2030, a quarter of the population will be over 65 years old. However, aging need not cause worry and gloom. If we plan ahead, aging can be a positive experience. In line with the government's plans to help seniors to age well, the Action Plan for Successful Aging outlined over 70 initiatives, one of which is the National Silver Academy. It is a network of post-secondary education institutions and community-based organisations offering a wide range of learning opportunities to seniors aged 50 and above. The Intergenerational Learning Programme, or ILP, is one of the NSA's learning opportunities. ILP was initiated by C3A in 2011. It aims to forge intergenerational bonding between youths and seniors. Pairing seniors with students, the ILP helps seniors to make new friends, acquire new knowledge, and develop new interests through the practical lessons while students can build character. I see the planning process of it is also really exciting. And like, although like behind the scenes there are a lot of things, like the teachers help and all, but the students should be the one to be there, like initiate all this stuff. So it's a good experience for them to do all this. And it's also really good to like make new friends from different generations and you will truly learn from this. I think ultimately it's very heartening to see our pupils being very eager to see the seniors every week. So I think uh, it helps our pupils to develop the values of care, respect, responsibility and also resilience because they see that the seniors, even though they may take a longer time to learn, they're actually very active and very enthusiastic to learn. So they are actually very positive role models for our pupils in terms of lifelong learning and being resilient and never to give up. C3A aims to reach out to as many schools as possible to come on board the ILP. Since inception, C3A has expanded its course offerings to cover various topics conducted by primary, secondary schools to ITEs, polytechnics and universities. Last time I don't mix, I normally keep to myself. Now with all these children, all these students around, make me very, very happy. We have 20 After that, we have feedback. They are very enjoyed. They feel that the students are very nice, very helpful. They are very happy to help us. ILP has progressively developed several interesting topics from basic ICT and art to specialised topics that tap on the school's talents such as hair and scalp care, terrarium making and music. ILP also complements the Ministry of Education's initiatives such as the Values in Action programme and the Learning for Life programme in schools. I don't live with my grandparents so oh. I feel like this is a very important chance for me to learn how to interact with them more. ILP is really a humbling experience. It really reveals to us learning is a lifelong process. The students learn from the seniors, the seniors learn from the students. As they share stories, the students are enriched by the seniors' lifelong experience. And the seniors get to hear a different perspective of life from the young people. And there's an exchange of stories within the community. It's like a dialogue across generations. Today, I have this opportunity to learn with my buddy, uh, the junior. Last time, I used to have difficulty to uh, communicate with those uh, youngsters. Now I find that actually they are quite okay. Uh, they are willing to learn and they are willing to teach also. So I really gain a lot from this uh, activity. Whether 20 or 80, Anyone who keeps learning stays young. Together, we can create a culture in which lifelong learning becomes integral within Singapore's society.